Well, hey folks, this is Britt with BB Outdoors TV. As you can tell, this isn't Blake. <laughs> and I think I'm wearing the same thing I wore the last time that we did this front porch talk. But uh, so the reason that this beautiful girl is next to me is this is my daughter, Avery. Hello. She's 18 years old and she is going to the University of Georgia and we are taking her and as I say this, I'm getting chill bumps, but we're taking her next weekend to go to college. And about a week ago, I came up with the idea of, you know, I don't hardly ever have any one-on-one -on -one time with her. And I, I, I mentioned it to her that, well, would you want to go down to the hunt club with me? Thinking that she would say, yeah, Dad, let's find something else to do. But she immediately said, let's do it. So we got here a couple hours ago and we took the four wheeler out and I showed her the property for the first time. And this was the first time that you've been on a four wheeler. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of fun. So, um, like a lot of girls that grew up uh, in and around Atlanta, she's not used to this country setting, but uh, I think she's, she's no, coming like around it. to it. I like it a lot. So, the reason that I wanted to have it, and we might not even post this. But the main purpose of this video is to document uh, this little front porch talk that I'm having with her before she goes to college so that maybe after college we can both look back and, and have a laugh and really sort of appreciate the perspective of where she is now versus where she might be in four years when she has a college degree in her hand. So there were a few maybe words of wisdom and uh, also a few questions that I'd like to sort of get her thoughts on and sort of have it documented. So first question Avery is what do you expect to get out of these next four years at the University of Georgia? Hmm. A good group of friends that I'll have the rest of my life. Um, hopefully I'll know exactly what I want to do. Okay. And I'll have a job. Well, I don't know if I'll have a job by then, but like I'll start looking and probably have some encouragement. I don't know there. And then if I find my husband, that's good. <laughs> so you want your missus degree? <laughs> that's my second degree. <laughs> that is my second one. No, education's first. Yeah. But good answer. We'll see. Okay, so let's fast forward this. Uh, from today and then four years and I'm gonna this is sort of the same question, but maybe a different spin on it Where do you hope that you will be? four years from today whether it's a degree uh, a, a Job being a teacher. What what do you what do you foresee as your ideal setting in four years? I don't want to be a teacher Were well, you going into education? No, I'm not. I'm going into public relations <laughs> Shows you how much I listen I'm sorry, sorry. It's okay. I'm like, well, you could change. I'm not going to be a teacher. Okay. Okay. Well, public relations, hopefully a job in that field. I don't know yeah. what that looks like, though. But I want to probably get started with that. So August, yeah, because I'd graduate in May. Yeah. Hopefully I'll start knowing if there's a job out there for me by then. And I don't know. I yeah. mean, it'd be nice to have a job. Would then. you want to work? in and around Atlanta still, or are you just going to? Yeah, I probably won't want to go out of state just yet. I don't yeah. even know if I will go out of state. Sure. I just actually just see what my first opportunity is. Now, if you get an opportunity in college to go overseas and do some mm -hmm. studies. I'll do that. Or, yeah. Either my junior or senior year, hopefully. Where do you want to try to go? Either London, Italy, France, Greece. Wow. Either of those. I'm okay. Either. I just wanted to Europe. Or Bora Bora might be nice. No, only Europe. No. Oh, okay. I like the history there. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I, since we're documenting this, I wanted to try to give you some words of wisdom that you probably have heard before, but as a, as a dad taking his daughter to college, it just pulls at my heartstrings so bad. But at the same time, I'm excited for you. I, 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 there's no doubt in my mind that you are going to take this experience and, and you're just going to hit it out of the park. You're going to do so awesome. But just remember your roots. Remember the principles that your mom and I have, have tried to instill in you. And you've, you've 
taken that and you've done awesome with it. You, you, you couldn't be a better daughter. Uh, you, you haven't caused us any issues. And we just hope that this college experience, you just take the person that you are now and you just, you offer what you did for us to the world. I, I, there's no other way that I can try to explain it other than we want the world to see the Avery that we see. And uh, college, the, the, the great thing and the bad thing about college is you get that opportunity to grow, but at the same time, you're gonna have a lot of people pulling at you to try to influence what may or may not uh, be a foundation that you, you have, you grew up with. Does that make sense? No, there's like, going to be different people there and like different beliefs there. Yes. Yeah, thousands of people. Yeah. So, so your mom and I's biggest hope is that you just stay true to the Lord. You try to stay true to yourself. And uh, we're dealing with gnats down here, folks. We're in the gnat, what they call the gnat line in southern Georgia. So we have two fans on us and uh, for two reasons. They keep the gnats away. And also, it's still pretty warm down here. But... Um, yeah, so, all right, so final thoughts on college. What uh, what do you want to tell the future Avery? Oh, gosh. I hope. Because she's going to be watching this in four years. I hope you're not a train wreck. <laughs> I hope you're, you haven't had any drugs. hope you're doing fine. <laughs> have good friends. Know what you're going to do, because I don't know. That's okay if, if you don't. Future yeah. Avery, it's okay if you don't. Yeah, that I was able to grow in my faith, that I didn't decline, that I didn't fall out of my faith, and that like didn't have like a surface level relationship with God. Yeah. I further yeah. deepened it. And that's like about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, for, if if we publish this, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed it. But more importantly, Future Avery. Um, it's, it's just really sort of odd. It's like a time capsule. Yeah, no, I don't really know how to feel about talking to myself. <laughs> and uh, hopefully I haven't aged too much in four years. But um, yeah, this is a special time. And, and I, I'm loving this time with you, sweetie. I wouldn't take anything for this. And uh, I'm just, I know this isn't ideal being at a farmhouse with mice and roaches oh, and gnats okay. and mosquitoes everywhere. But we're having fun. So, future Avery, Avery, future Brit, see y'all in four years. <laughs>